Dear scientists, in this video we are diving deep into the cytotoxic effect behind busulfan. Don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date on cancer biology. We will explain the concept on two levels with increasing complexity. Let's start with the first cycle. What is the function of busulfan? Busulfan is one of the alkylating agents that can kill malignant and non-malignant immune cells. Let's see how this process is taking place. After the administration of busulfan to the patient's blood, busulfan passively diffuses from the blood vessels to the cells. Inside the cells, busulfan is hydrolyzed and activated. Busulfan binds and damages the proteins in the cytosol of the cell. In addition, busulfan also enters the nucleus where it binds with the DNA causing damage to the cell. When this damage exceeds a certain threshold, the cell will not be able to survive and it will commit suicide. So the next question is, what is busulfan used to treat? It's often used with bone marrow transplantation as it has less side effects in comparison with the total body radiation. Let's move to the second cycle. What is the function of busulfan or what is the structure of busulfan? From its name, bu in busulfan stands for 2 and sulfan stands for sulfonyl. Each functional group can leave the compound, leading to the alkylation of nearby nucleophiles. For example, a portion of the injected busulfan binds with the red blood cells and the plasma proteins. It can also passively diffuse through the membrane of immune cells. It mostly reacts with glutathione, GSH as an abbreviation. The complex formed between GSH and busulfan can bind with GST, the glutathione S transferase, and prevents the formation of new glutathiones. The significant reduction in GSH leads to an increased reactive oxygen species, as those reactive oxygen species are normally neutralized by the glutathione molecules. The increase in reactive oxygen species will lead to an increase in oxidative stress that will subsequently lead to the activation of the apoptotic pathway. And this is the main reason why busulfan can cause liver cytotoxicity as liver cells cannot survive a certain concentration of busulfan. Moreover, busulfan can react with the DNA in the nucleus by forming a monoalkylating adduct with the guanine bases or a bialkylating adduct, also known as crosslinks, between guanines and adenines. Those crosslinks inhibit the DNA from separating the two strands in case of transcription or replication. Busulfan can lead to either stopping the cell cycle at the G2 phase or inducing apoptosis. Busulfan is used with acute myeloid leukemia and chronic myelogenous leukemia as it has high specificity towards myeloid cells and less damage to the lymphoid cells. However, busulfan can still cause liver cytotoxicity, pulmonary fibrosis, and any side effect has to be carefully monitored with the physician. Congratulations, you have successfully completed the two levels on busulfan. If you are interested in cancer research, subscribe to this channel and always check in the description for premium courses that will be available on August 2023. To know more about alkylating agents in general, click on this video.